Hello everyone, welcome back to the Bruce Wilson YouTube channel. Today I'm out here with the cab over once again. Iceman should be out here soon with our outer wheels and getting the babies mounted, but today I've got my lovely assistant sitting down on the job. Girlfriend Amber. We are going to jack the cab up on this baby and tape off everything else. And we are going to get this freaking frame painted. And I'm gonna teach her how to paint. I'm not the best at it, but we got suits, we're gonna wrap her butt up and we are gonna to go to town painting these babies. So get ready, hold tight. We're gonna get this thing jacked up. So guys, I got the cab all jacked up on it, as you've seen. I started ripping and pulling some old hoses out and stuff. You guys remember a while back, I had to replace one of the cab jack hoses. I've got another new one right here, but I'll probably replace that after I get it painted. Um, I'm gonna start a time lapse here momentarily, and we are going to get the tanks taped off, try to get the engine taped off as best as possible and uh of course the tires and stuff like that i'm gonna get the stack removed and uh yeah hold tight for a uh two or three minute time lapse Okay, folks, so I got everything pretty much taped off. I'm going to tape off the two front wheels, and that's going to be it. We're going to spray everything freaking black. I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse of getting everything covered up. Um, I'm not going to go too crazy on trying to not paint the front of the tanks because we're going to paint these black anyways. And then Iceman will be out here later to sand these. So I'm going to run a higher air pressure to try to focus all the spray on everything that we're going to be painting in here. The wheels are all protected. Um, I'm not going to paint the engine. I'm going to try to paint that another day, probably later on, not anytime soon. I got the batteries removed, um, get the transmission painted, basically everything that's not black and not covered is going to be painted black. So hold tight. We've got to get the paint mixed up. 
And uh, anyway, I got a paint suit for Amber so she can paint today too. I've got the implement paint down here we've painted with before. I'll give her a little bit of a shake. Should be good. And I've got some mixing buckets here. And a respirator, I don't need that right now. And I've got our hardener. I'll use there's a hardener under here somewhere. Here we go, there's a hardener. Um, we'll mix it one, one to four on these right here, so we we'll pour a little dab of this hardener in here. There we go. Next, we're going to pour some reducer in here. Next, we're gonna pour some paint. Paint poured in the bookie. It was a little lumpy, but that's okay. Replace the lid. Uh -oh. That was my finger. <laughs> That felt great. I'm gonna grab my paint sprayer here, Harbor Freight Special with a Harbor Freight Special meter there. We're gonna pour the paint in it. Last time I used it, I did take the tip apart and clean it, so it should be good to go. Put our screwdriver in there, get all the lumps out, stir it up. Screwdriver back right there, and we'll pour it in. Oh, it's super lumpy. It's lumpy. <laughs> Probably gonna clog up the gun. That's okay, we'll make it work. Give it a few stirs. Put that right there. Put the gun on it. There we go. Now we gotta get you suited up, Amber, so you can paint. Okay, we're all ready. <laughs> Come out here. <laughs> I'm wearing one too, guys. I'm gonna keep my I'm hat on this time I'm while not, I'm painting. I'm taking this mask off. No, you, you don't want to get paint in your hair. I'd rather here, hold get this. paint in my hair. Hold this. You have your glasses. You don't want those no more. I don't oh, want to. We'll show you how to do it with, with, without the mask. I'm, I'm gonna put the mask on you. Uh, no. You gotta wear this. Come on, now we gotta be safe. Wait, right. no, I'm just painting. It's okay, you gotta wear it. It is. You can't be breathing in bad stuff. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> All right, here. Hold, hold this camera, girl, so I can get the paint gun. Come on, let's go. Time to go paint. Oh, you got to put gloves on. Come here. I can't breathe through this. Huh? I'm claustrophobic. You're... <laughs> I promise. You breathe through it. I can't. Yes, you can. It doesn't make you not breathe. God dang it. <laughs> There's Amber, everybody. <laughs> Come on. I think this is a little Here. Hold that. We're gonna have to walk over here. Come on, watch your head do it. So when you're holding the trigger down, hold it down like that, and that's what lets the air come out. There's no paint. You squeeze it again, paint comes out, okay? Okay. Come right here. Here, okay, hold it like that. Down button off. Okay? Okay. You wanna try it back there, or you wanna try it right here? Right here. Doesn't matter where I go. I don't need this stupid head babby thingy. <laughs> I don't right. need this head thingy. Yes, you do. It's gonna breathe in paint fumes. What do I do? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it halfway down. You'll feel there's two different things. Okay. All right. Now go ahead. <laughs> pull, only let it. Ha see how you're holding. Huh? You pull. Hold it down like that. 
There's no paint coming out, so you squeeze it all the way down. You get it on my fuel tank? Yeah. Where do you painted all that? Do you do it on there? You see how it's all black already? Do you do it on there? You paint the leaf spring. Is that a leaf spring? Yeah. Go slow. All right, I'll let you do the rest of it. I can't breathe. <laughs> You're the head bobby thing? Yeah. I gotta get it off. Okay, everybody, here we go. Everybody, let's start back here the back. He's not wearing the head thing. I am. I ain't got him to worry about. the inside of the frame to do it first. So folks, as you've seen in the freaking time lapse, frame is all painted. It's gonna take like four weeks to dry because this paint takes forever. And yes, I know there's lots of spots that we missed, you know, that we're gonna have to paint with a spray paint can, but the biggest thing we did, it sprayed it with the paint gun was just to get as much area covered. And then I'm gonna go back with a little can and touch it all up later on. But she's all there. I'm gonna start pulling all the plastic off of it and uh, pulling the uh, tape off of it also. I'm just gonna get some good to that's all there is to it. Just pull it off. It's a little bit down. That was easy. Oh yeah, she's gonna look good. She's gonna look real good. It looks good on camera at least. That's all that matters. We got the stack, the old muffler off. You see that? 
It's all knocked down. Our steer reservoir painted up. I even painted all the uh, backs of the brake drums and stuff like that in here, guys. So, this thing's really starting to take some shape and look good. I cannot wait for Iceman to freaking get here with the rear tires or rear wheels and get the other tires mounted. We got a full set of eight tires on the rear of this baby. Oh, we're so close. So, folks, I'm walking around changing the new air lines that go from the frame to the axles after we paint it. Looks nice, all that fresh brass on there. And uh, I got the rear right here. I've got to do the other brake chambers up inside the frame. Those are going to be a little bit more of a pain, but uh, I've got the front left done right here. I wasn't changing these out um, just because I want to put new stuff on the truck. I changed them out because I figure they're 20 years old. They're probably dry rod. Well, I didn't even look at the front left one here. And this thing is freaking busted right there, guys. Look at that. It's just peeling away. Just junk. It's so dangerous. So. I've got a brand new one obviously going on there, so I'm gonna get this one stuck on there. Guys, I've been putting off putting oil in the rear end because I want to get the new vent put on there. So I got the vent put on, I checked the rear end, make sure there's no more water or moisture, anything inside of it. So now I'm gonna put Amber's wanting to go to a sushi place. I'm sure I'm gonna get Chinese person. Got the new oil I'll put it in the hole. Alright, go to Pump Town. I'll be here for about 25 minutes. Right, Amber, you want to try it? No. No? You're pretty good at that. What happened? Everybody wants to see your beautiful face. Come no, on. No, not right now. What happened to your toe? Come here, let me see it. Did you get oil on it? <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Guys, my brother showed up and brought new lug nuts. Everybody's talking about, oh, you got to put new lug nuts on it. So I've got new lug nuts. I was just waiting on them to come in. And we're going to replace the front ones also and torque all these down you know to like 500 foot pounds or whatever huge shout out to james sanders for sending me the manuals on the cab overs and stuff like that thanks dude this is gonna help me big time service manuals and there's even a couple of repair manual here on a cummins big cam 4 engine so these are gonna help me out big time when i'm trying to go through the wiring because this truck does have a wiring issue also someone has hot wired all the headlights and stuff like that so this is gonna help out tremendously i'm so excited thanks james appreciate all you guys hanging around here to the end of the video make sure you go to brucewilsonshop.com grab your merch will it start keychains make triders great again t-shirts all the diesel life merchandise on the website tons of really great stuff guys and we have got so much to accomplish on the truck I've been waiting on Iceman to get here and i guess he's not going to show up and drop off my wheels that i had him polish so um i may end up just polishing the tanks myself guys and running up to this 75 chrome shop and grabbing the stuff to do them. I frankly, I want to try it. It's nothing I really can't do. So, that being said, make sure you smash the like button, drop a comment down below. I'll be looking out for tomorrow's video of us getting the other tires and wheels put on the back and getting so much done, getting the belts on it, and start assessing, figuring out why our AC is not working and doing a couple of things. So, I appreciate you guys late. Appreciate all the support, guys. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Peace out.